What's up? We are live, KG, Rough To Be Buff TV. Today we are talking about the top 10 foods that are absolutely killing your weight loss. Now these are 10 foods that I have found in my 14 years of coaching people that they are commonly overeaten and they're putting you in a caloric surplus and these are probably why you might not be seeing the scale budge as much as you'd like. So listen closely, we're gonna make your ass a little less jigglier, your body a lot sexier, and you a lot more knowledgeable. Number one food in this list is Starbucks, okay? Now I took a poll on my Instagram, I asked them 10 different questions that all relate to what we're talking about today. Starbucks, the number one drink that people commonly order is a vanilla frappuccino. 250 calories. Second was an iced white mocha. A venti is 550 calories. Number three, pumpkin spice lattes. A medium, a large can be anywhere from 380 to 470 calories. I know what some of you guys are thinking. You're like, Kyle, I I've heard my clients come in. They're like, I need, I need my, my Starbucks. If I don't get my Starbucks, I just don't operate. Well, guess what? You don't need Starbucks. There's only one thing you really need on earth is oxygen, okay? And probably some water and some healthy food. You do not need Starbucks. So a healthy alternative to your sweet, overly sugared coffee is just get yourself a cold brew or go get yourself some iced coffee. Save yourself the calories. An iced coffee or a cold brew is literally five calories for a venti. Five calories compared to 500. Number two, French fries. Now on my Instagram poll, here's the top three French fries that people love to consume. Number one, McDonald's French fries. A large order of McDonald's French fries is 500 calories. Number two, Red Robin steak fries for a basket of Red Robin steak fries are 484 calories. Number three was In-N-Out. A basket of In-N-Out fries is 395 calories. Now you're probably thinking, Kyle, I love animal style fries. They got cheese on it. How much more are animal style fries? I'll tell you guys, you don't have to worry anymore. 700, 750 calories are animal style fries. Now what's the healthy alternative to fries? Eating no fries at all. If you're in a weight loss phase or you're trying to cut down some body fat, just say no to french fries. You are literally saving yourself 300 to 500 calories per serving. A good alternative is if you were to go to Red Robin per se, in contrast to french fries, if you get a side of fruit, it's 75 calories. You're saving yourself 400 calories. 400 calories if you just don't get that basket of fries at Red Robin. And what else do we eat with fries at Red Robin? Ranch. Ranch is delicious. I love ranch. Ranch goes good on salted fries. But like I said, if you're looking to lean out and lose some body weight, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. Fruit over fries. Number three, we spoke about ranch. Let's talk about condiments. Number three is condiments. Now the three most commonly answered condiments that I got on my Instagram. Number one, Chick-fil-A ranch. Number two, ketchup, McDonald's. Three, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. In one of those little boxes, you know those little cute little boxes that Chick-fil-A gives you with ranch, I want you to guess how many calories are in that. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one, 140. There's 140 calories in every little box of ranch. And every little ketchup packet at McDonald's, those are 15 calories. Now I know when I make, have french fries from McDonald's, I don't just have one little ketchup packet, I usually have four to six. So you do the math, 15 times six, I'm not a math magician, I'm a personal trainer, bust out your calculator, knock out the numbers. Sweet Baby Ray's, two tablespoons, two tablespoons of Sweet Baby Ray's is 75 calories. So the next time you actually, you know, hey, you wanna have some Sweet Baby Ray's, I'm not saying don't have Sweet Baby Ray's. None of these foods are good or bad, they just potentially are putting you over on your calories. I want you to take a spoon, and then pour an actual tablespoon on uh, the, the, and see how much Sweet Baby Ray's, an actual serving is two tablespoons of Sweet Baby Ray's is 75 calories. So the more you know, the, the better you're gonna have an opportunity to succeed. If you just are just glooping on your condiments, you're potentially adding hundreds of calories a week, if not hundreds or thousands of calories a month. And that's the difference between weight loss, uh, and weight gain or completely staying the same. So a few healthy alternatives to condiments, pico de gallo, salsa, mustard, tapatio, 
Tabasco. These are all super low calories. I'm talking a serving of pico de gallo, like a little ramekin of pico de gallo is like five calories. It's like literally nothing. Tabasco sauce is like nothing. So make the sacrifice and make some of those healthy alternatives, put, and put them right into your diet. Number four, alcohol. Drinking alcohol. One beer, can of beer, 12 ounces, 140 calories, one shot of tequila is 100 calories. My advice to you, because I'm not saying, hey, don't drink alcohol. One of the best things you can do if you know you're gonna have a huge night of drinking is just eat less during the day. I'm not saying to not drink alcohol. I want you to live your life. If you've trained with me, you know that I'm all about flexibility. I'm all, ba all about balance. And make sure you reduce your binge drinking. And if you're constantly going out and binge drinking, there may be a bigger problem at hand that maybe we're just not, uh, the, we're not brave enough to admit. But cut down your calories during the day and try to avoid mixing or mixed drinks like you know your juices, your, your vodka and your orange juice, your cranberry and your vodka, your margaritas. Uh, because those that juice plus the alcohol is just going to increase your calories. It's going to put you in a surplus and keep you right where you're at. Number five, after a long night of drinking, what do we all do? We wake up with a hangover and we got to get ourselves a hangover meal. So the top three hangover meals that I got, these are kind of a surprise. I got, a, I must have a lot of Mexican friends and I've never tried this and I'm going to try this the next time that I'm hungover. The number one hangover meal that we got, Menudo. Menudo. I thought Menudo was just a band that Ricky Martin was in. It's a cup of soup and it's 233 calories per cup. Number two, ah, breakfast burritos. I love a tasty, salty, juicy breakfast burrito with a little bit of ranch and sometimes a little bit of mayo. But when I'm in a diet phase and I have a full night of drinking, it's going to absolutely kill my progress. In one big Pepe's breakfast burrito or Castaneda's breakfast burrito, it's 950 calories and 40 grams of fat. So if you extrapolate that out, let's say you have 10 beers, which is a 1400 calories, and then you have your breakfast burrito, which is 950 calories, you've basically eaten 2000 calories from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. And let's say you had a great day before that. That whole night of binge drinking and hangover food eating, probably diminished all of your week's hard work. So less binging, less hangover food, less alcohol, be disciplined. Learn how to say no. That's the best thing I can say is learn how to say no. You're grown, say no. You don't always have to get shit face drunk every time you go out. And if you are, give me a call. I'll go get shit face with you and then maybe I'll show you how to eat healthy in the morning. The best thing you can do after a hangover is eat from home. Grab a big bowl of fruit. Go make yourself a big juicy steak that's like 500 calories and strictly protein and you're saving yourself all the carbohydrates and all the other stuff that comes with hangover food. Moving on, so number six is party foods, okay? Now think of Super Bowls, birthdays, you, hey, you show up to a party, there's this huge like extravagant spreads like ho-hos, ding-dongs, chicken wings, guac, chips, meatballs, all kinds of delicious stuff. Here's the top three party foods that people are consuming. Number one, chicken wings. Two wings is 180 calories, and Lord knows you don't only have 180 calories worth of chicken wings. Number two is guac and chips. 10 tortilla chips and only two ounces of guacamole, 260 calories. The third thing, this is probably by far the worst, the worst party food, nacho cheese. It's nacho cheese because it's nacho cheese. Nacho cheese, one ounce, one ounce, one little baby ounce of nacho cheese is 140 calories. I think nacho cheese is probably the worst food that you can eat as far as how highly processed it is and how calorically dense it is, and it's strictly just fat and salt. Nacho cheese, one ounce, 140 calories, a jigglier ass for tomorrow. So you go to a party, how do you stop yourself from overeating crappy food? Find protein protein up. You know, hey, tomorrow's 4th of July and my plan for tomorrow is literally to eat so much protein that I don't have any space for junk food. I'm just gonna wait for the, for the chicken, I'm gonna wait for the steak, I'm gonna wait for the burgers and just go nuts on you. I'll have 200 grams of protein. Watch out for the chips. I'm going to my mom's house, she's gonna have Butterfingers, Apple turnovers. I might have one. I might have one, maybe two, but probably true. 
but you account for those in your caloric goal for the day and make sure you don't overeat. Uh, and I'm not saying this is easy, guys. I'm not perfect. I'm just here trying to give you guys some answers so you guys can start seeing some progress. And, and really, this is just about building healthy habits for the long term. And if you can kind of implement some of these things, I'm guaranteeing you will find some success. So protein up, cut down on the process BS. Number seven, ah, this one hurts my soul. I hate to say it, it's cereal. Now, we've all been a little kid and we've all done Saturday morning cartoons. We sit down to watch Looney Tunes and we literally fill up um, like a popcorn bowl full of cereal and then we just dump in a bunch of milk. Now, I want you to take a look at what an actual serving of cereal is. Like go and scoop out one cup of cereal and dump it into a bowl and ask yourself, is this what my serving of cereal is? On average, a bowl of cereal is about 110 calories without the milk. Most people, including myself, when I pour a bowl of cereal, it's usually two, three, or four times that amount of cereal because cereal's fast, it's easy, it's delicious, it's sugary, it's late. You go to walk over to the kitchen, you're like, I don't wanna cook anything, I'll just have a bowl of cereal. And then instead of just doing one little serving of cereal, you do three servings of cereal in one, and instead of having maybe 150 calories, you have probably 400 calories. So the best thing you can do with cereal is measure it out. Because remember, you're allowed to eat cereal, you're allowed to have barbecue sauce, you're allowed to have alcohol, as long as you are under on your calories for the day. If you watch your serving sizes, and actually measure your food. That's why I'm gonna keep hammering this home because that's the only way you're gonna find long-term success is by being honest with yourself and actually looking at what servings are because the way that people get really overweight is they just don't know what's going in. So with your cereal, be sure to measure it. And number eight, sweets, candy, treats, things like those. Chocolate. My girls love chocolate. My clients love chocolate. One Hershey Kiss is 22 calories. The second was chocolate covered almonds. A few people actually answered chocolate covered almonds. In eight almonds, there's 220 calories. Three is Oreos. A whole rack of Oreos is 560 calories. I've crushed up a whole rack of Oreos and then I'll sprinkle it into like a bowl of milk and I used to eat it like cereal when I was a kid. One of my favorite things to do is take some strawberries and like maybe just a couple tablespoons of Greek yogurt and I dip the strawberries in some Greek yogurt and I'm saving myself calories. And another thing about sweets and candy guys is stop bringing it home but like if you're gonna go buy sweets, just buy the little one single serving size and get the hell out of the store. Don't go buying a whole rack of Oreos, a big box of Thin Mints, or a bunch of candy licorice, or, you know, because once it's home, like crack to a crack addict, you are going to overconsume sweets. It's just the way it is. Nobody throws away their sweets. Uh, number nine, potato chips. The average American, I thought this was really interesting, consumes about four pounds of potato chips a year which comes to 9,600 calories. If you add the dip to that, that is about three to four pounds of weight gain a year in just potato chips, if you add a little bit of dip as well. Now they did a study between two different groups, people with salted potato chips and unsalted potato chips because salt is the key. Saltier food makes it more uh, appetizing and it literally turns on a point in your brain that says, hey, I want more of this. The salted group of potato chips ate 60% more, 60% more than the unsalted group. So once again, don't bring potato chips home. It's as simple as that. Finishing this up, number 10 is juice and soda. Soda is for the weak. Juice and soda. One can of soda is 140 calories. An eight ounce glass of orange juice is comparable. Um, a 12 ounce thing of raspberry iced tea is 150 calories. There are healthy alternatives here. Grab yourself a blueberry pomegranate sparkling water. You can have some regular iced tea. You can do even some, I see a lot of people do this, but I think is really smart. They do like a fruit and herb infused water. And then it's just something for them to sip on without drinking um, the calories. First thing I tell to my clients is like, hey, don't drink your calories eat your calories. They're very easy. It's like drinking your calories is like the fastest way to put yourself in a surplus. So cut the soda out, add a diet Coke, it's zero calories. Don't drink your calories. Now, every time you drink soda, you're gonna be weak. That's how it goes. So I'm KG. 
This is Rough TV Above TV. These are the 10 most commonly eaten foods that are keeping and keeping your weight up and, and really killing your weight loss. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. Shoot me a like, subscribe, comment below if I missed any foods that maybe you think deserve to be on this list. I will see you guys next time here at Rough TV Above TV. Peace.